So we're going to talk about the, about <laughs> the last episode. And we talked about the move from the West Coast to the East Coast. And then we had some people write in and ask why, though, why the move, right? So the burning question that we're going to answer in this episode is what do you do when you hear information that rocks your world? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the main reasons of why we made the move along with our family and some of the benefits of that, though. So... Uh, a few years ago, right before the pandemic, I don't remember the exact date, but I know some people say they remember when they hear news that just rocks their world. They remember the moment where they were at, exact date, how long ago it was. But I found out that I had MS, multiple sclerosis. And I also found out within that that I had something called a JC virus. So I think it's John Cummings virus, and it's a deadly virus. Um, no one has ever survived it. And, um, you know, we have certain time frames now, albeit my JC virus has is dormant, hasn't been activated yet. But if it ever does go, I could have three days, I could have a year. And they said no one's ever lived past a year with it, right? So that information, it changes your life, it changes things. And it also puts you in that perspective of what's important. So that's part of what got my family and I moving towards this part. We were like, you know, whatever time I have left, we want to have peace. And water was important to us. We talked about being near a beach, being in a calm environment. And so that's part of it. So that goes into this premise of what is important to you. What are you going to do when you get to that part of your life that you are forced to redesign it? And so that's one of the reasons why I speak on this and tell people, Start the process now. Start redesigning the movements and everything you do now before you're put in a position of being older or not being able to do something with your life that you want to do. Go take that trip. Go skydive if you want. Go do those things. Do them reasonably, you know, with thought and it. Don't do it recklessly. But, you know, if you're burnt out and you're in the corporate world, if you're sitting in your car every day saying to yourself, I don't want to go into this job you're only doing it because it's bringing you you know money to pay for the lights or something or to pay for this lifestyle you're living is it that worth it or is your happiness worth it right so that's one of the main things of why i speak on this you know uh, ms is one of those things where i didn't know about i didn't even know it existed i, I i'm a young black man we don't speak about those kind of things coming up in our world, but it's a part of our world and it affects us at a high rate. And so I tell everyone out there, just, you know, go, go, go live, go taste that food that you've never tasted. Go to that trip that you've never taken. You've been talking about putting it off for two years. You want to take a trip, but every time you go with a friend, they say, well, I can't go. Then go by yourself. Go experience life and live it. Live life while you are still alive. Eat that spicy food. Go dance. Go do this. Go whatever it is that you want to do. I'm giving you permission. I'm telling you that you are able to do it. Don't listen to anyone else to tell you that you can't. Sure, there are going to be factors that you need to do, finances and all that other stuff. And that's great. You can figure that out if you truly want to. But you got to start it right now. You know, I was talking earlier today where I was on a podcast and we were talking about some methods. And that's why I tell everyone, make sure you come to our group because we have those kind of things that we talk about in there. Go on Facebook and look it up at Redesign Your Life. Send me an email if you cannot find it, lion at lionflood.com, L-I-O-N at L-I-O-N-F-L-U-D-D.com. Send me a message. I'll make sure I get, I'll, I'll answer all of my emails. I, I will make sure you get in there. So the the... Method that I talked about on the podcast today, I said, take two minutes and get some post-it notes, get some pieces of paper and write down everything you want to do. I don't care. Don't think. Two minutes. You got two minutes to write it down on that post-it notes and those papers. Don't overthink it. Once the two minutes is done, take all of those post-it notes, put them up on a mirror or something. Then take 30 seconds. 30 seconds, I want you to pull down the most important ones that you see. After that 30 seconds is up, that's it. That's your bucket list. That's your list that you want to go do in whatever time frame that you give yourself. Don't worry about anything else up on that mirror. Just those 30 seconds. What's the most important thing to you? And one of the most thing, important things to me that I prioritize is 
leaving a legacy for my family, leaving a, a, a memory. I always tell my son, make memories over money, right? Make a memory that when you're 35, you can say, I remember doing this with my mom and dad. I remember them taking me on this trip or taking me to that place that he can pass down to his family, right? Those are some of the most important things. So I urge you, I, I implore you to slow down in life. Enjoy what you have. Take time to chew the food and enjoy it. I want you, no matter what you're doing at this moment, to make a, a promise to yourself. Whatever loved one you have, I want you to take 30 seconds and I want you to hug them. Don't say anything. Don't tell them why you're doing it. I just want you to give them a deep hug for 30 seconds and watch how it feels. Watch the reaction that you give. It's one of the things that we, you know, shared with my wife. I said, we're going to work at two times a day to just hug you. Now, I don't keep that promise every day, but I do at least once a day. Uh, or I make the effort to do it. And I noticed that we both started doing it to each other more and more. Right? Give someone what you want to get back and see the result. Take some time and start to focus at doing something different. I want you to do it before the arthritis sets in, <laughs> the old age sets in, before those knees start to hurt a little bit more, before that weather makes you say, oh, I can't get up and go today, right? Take some time to pause and go fishing. Go for that walk that you are putting off. That company is going to survive without you. I promise you, as soon as you decide to leave, they're going to fill it. They say, give, make sure you give the company two weeks. Do they give you two weeks before they fire you? I don't think so. They <laughs> just say they don't care about whatever family issues you got going on. They don't care about any of that. Take some time for yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to focus on you and your happiness for yourself, for your family, for everything that's going on around you. It's time to decide that you're worth it. It's time to decide that what you want in life matters. Stop worrying and putting everyone else first, right? Put you, your desires, your family first. Stop burning yourself out at that job at 80 hours a week for that money. You're not taking it with you. Sure, it's buying you some things that you're able to enjoy. And those things are great. We had those. I miss my hot top. I keep saying it every episode. I miss my hot top, right? But I also enjoy these moments that I'm getting to spend and seeing my son's face glow when he's getting to go and visit more friends and family. And, you know, we went today to an open house for the school and he got to see some of his friends from last year. And, you know, I'm enjoying those moments. So I just want to tell you to keep pushing forward and keep working towards it. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to bring more value to you in these podcast episodes to show you why you should show you some techniques why that you should do just as something as small as that hug i guarantee you go and do it no matter what time you're listening to this the next time you see your spouse the next time you see your brother your mom your sister your cousin whomever it is take 30 seconds it may not seem like a long time but when you're in that moment it's going to feel like eternity and it's going to be a little awkward I'm telling you now, but that's okay. So I'm giving you permission to go and live, to go and try something different. I'm giving you permission to go pull up your phone and try a restaurant that you have not tried. Matter of fact, it's one of the small things that we were working to do when we traveled to different uh, countries. We went to Europe last year, London, Paris, and Amsterdam. We said, I don't care if it's a small appetizer. We want to try something different in almost every other restaurant that we had the ability to go and do. Right. Some of the items. No, absolutely. We didn't know what they were. We didn't understand it. We didn't like it. But we experienced that. And it was a memory. And in the next episode, I'm going to talk about that trip and why it was so important for me to take my wife there and give you a little heads up. I actually proposed to her on top of the Eiffel Tower. We got some video on that as well. And for all of those who are listening, we do have content that we are placing on YouTube as well. Go check it out. Um, the, you know, the name there is at Black Negus, B-L-K-N-E-G-U-S. And for those who may be wondering, that means Black Royalty, Black King. 
I swear, the world has told me for the longest as a black male that I'm lower than. I have to tell myself that I am not. So I remind myself of that. And make sure you join the group also. Redesign your life. Um, we have a positive group on Facebook. Check us out. Send me an email, lion at lionfly.com. Thank you all for taking a moment listening. Also, make sure you check out some of our sponsors who are helping us out. So while you're in the process of redesigning your life, why don't you go and start redesigning your home with Pier 1? Use the code BOGO50, buy one, get one, 50% off on our website. Check out lionflood.com forward slash Pier 1. And um, make sure you start, you know, focusing on that. One of the old Japanese proverbs says, hold something in your hand. If it doesn't bring you joy, get rid of it. You don't need it. Pick up an item in your home. You don't need it. It doesn't bring you joy. It doesn't bring you happiness. Get rid of it. Right. So thank you for taking the time listening to another episode. Make sure you like, share, promote, push this to anyone who you think it can benefit because there's someone out there who needs to hear this so they can understand they're not alone and whatever they're feeling, no matter if they're going through something medical or whatever it is, take some time and share love. Right. Make sure you keep redesigning your life. And also, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you continue to live while you are alive.